you guys. Hey guys, it's Felicia, aka Miss Hot Mess and a Randomness. So the other day, um, I had a situation, diabetes situation once again. Um, so I've talked about these guys that I wear on me. So this is the CGM. This is what's con considered the continuous glucose meter, hence CGM. This is my infusion site for my pump. Without these two things, I'm a basic diabetic. And what I mean by that is I'm on old school methods, um, on relying on stuff that doesn't keep me as controlled as I am with them. CGM is the most important thing right now in this debacle of what happened the other day. And this is where gratitude comes into for technology. So um, I've had this happen a couple times where I've had had lows recently in the last week because what ended up happening was I lost this guy um, in the house. Come freaking! It apparently, oh hi guys, we're tilted. Um, that's what happened. Oh, look at the camera being bratty. Um, so yeah, you guys are gonna be a little on whatever. But so I lost it in the dining room. Finally found it. Got it back on today. But so in between then, I had to go old school style on basically um, checking my blood sugar. With the CGM at any given moment, all I gotta do is look at the receiver. For me, it's my pump. It talks to my pump, it works together. It's it, some other styles. Um, it talks to your phone or a what looks like an iPhone or something like that. Not really sure about the other ones, but I only know hearsay because I only have the Medtronic 670 pump and the Guardian 3 sensor um, and transmitter. So, basically, the other day I was at the grocery store job, Mark Basket, and um, I had eaten before I went into work. I, I took one, literally one unit of insulin, and this is where like the pump comes into factor as well. So with this, I can do a micro dose of 0.0 zero five units versus by syringe I do one unit that's the lowest I can usually do because I don't have the half units and even if I have the half units that's still point four nine five unit difference that I can go for the smallest dose and that can be a huge difference and it kind of was that day so what ended up happening was so I ate ate and then I took insulin before I went into work and I'm at work and I'm in the smoke shop and I'm feeling a little off all of a sudden to the point that I see pretty trails. And I actually end up scaring my coworker. Like I'm, I'm used to scaring the shit out of my family members, but I really haven't done a lot with other people. There's a select few people that have unfortunately gotten the lucky draw of the strings or whatever the, whatever the, you all know me by now. I screw up my freaking sayings. But so basically, my my coworker Lindsay, um, we're in the smoke shop together, and basically, I I just was not myself. I was screwing up sentences. I couldn't remember. Like literally, a customer would tell me, like, I want a, a carton of Marlboro um, Gold 100s, which is basically for the old school smokers, uh, Marlboro Light 100s, and I'd be like, okay. Um, there it is. I'm like, sorry, I'm, I'm looking for Petco. And I'm like, where the fuck are you? It was hidden by a tree. Um, so basically, like, I would get the cigarettes and I'd grab menthols or whatever. Um, or the shorts. And I, like, basically kept having to reiterate everything. So with my pump in my CGM, I'm very grateful for what it does for me. For when I'm not on it, fucking shit just hits the fan on a regular. So I'm really, really grateful for technology and with the diabetes. So just wanted to share all that as I'm getting caught. So yeah, just got caught. So I will talk to you all later. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.